Hello, Craig Smith of the Home Education Foundation, Palmerston North, New Zealand. We're talking about how we as parents can educate our children at home. A question sometimes comes up, what are the positives and negatives about using flashcards in my program? How can I use flashcards? Well, this is a great one. Flashcards are probably the, one of the best ways of um, organizing and presenting uh, material to your children, especially your younger children. And they're so easy to do. You can do it. Just get a few cards and make them up yourself. So you can use this to teach reading, to teach math facts, to teach geography facts, just to teach all sorts of things. Your younger children, by the way, and when I say younger, I'm talking three, four, and five, they have little brains that'll soak up knowledge, soak it up faster than you can believe possible. That is to say, they will memorize vast amounts of information, and they'll be able to have it memorized in, in categories and store it quite systematically in their mind without confusion and be able to instantly uh, recall the facts when required if you use the flashcards. For example, if you have your flashcards with 3 plus 2 line 5 and so you flash that out. Every time they say 3 plus 2 they'll go 5 so that's the whole idea. You, you want to flash it up 3 plus 2. They just see the 3 plus 2, and you've got the answer on your side of the card, 5. Now, it's a lot, of, it's a fun, these the fast cards are fun. You don't have to compete one child against the other child. That can not always be such a good idea. But you can have the child compete against himself. How many of these flashcards can he get correct in 60 seconds? So you have your stack of 60 or 70 flashcards and you whip them out there and you and uh, see how many you can get through in 60 seconds have a little stopwatch going or a timer or whatever it is and uh, and it, every one he gets correct he gets in his hand and the, and the wrong he gets goes on the floor here or, or on the pile here and then you just keep a note of that on a, a separate sheet of paper and keep that with the flashcards so every time you do it Right, how many did we do last time? Well, look, last time I got 35 correct in 60 seconds and only 15 wrong. Let's see if you can beat that record, right? Ready, steady, go. Boom, 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 boom. Children love that. They can compete against themselves. And so the thing is they're memorizing the math facts. 3 plus 2 is 5. Or shapes, whatever. You know, you just hold up. A picture of a triangle and he says triangle good you got it hold up a square it's a square hold up a rectangle right oval cylinder star whatever it might be you, you get the picture you can do it with all sorts of things we started with the with the letters of the alphabet and the child had to know the letters of the alphabet I started with the capital letters and then I went on to the lowercase letters once they had the capitals there was no problem with the lowercase but I started with the capitals because I figured those are the ones they use least of all, and they're probably uh, when you come to write a capital. You don't, you're not, you don't have much call when you're writing. You don't have much call to use capital X very often. But if you've learned that first, you won't ever forget it. So you'll know how to do a capital X. So when you do have a call for actually writing with a capital X, you'll know how to do it because it was one of the first ones you ever learned. Mm. And so you, it'll be there. But anyway, the children again, they're able to remember all the names of the letter. You know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. They don't have to learn this, the letter by its sound. They want to learn what sound the letter makes. Sure, they need to learn that later on. But in the meantime, they need to learn the name of the letter and what it looks like and be able to identify it in a crowd first time every time and know the name of the letter how to name it so they can spell too and they can tell you how to spell words by naming the name of the letter and you write it down systematically in order according to the way that they name so uh, yeah flashcards are great